In this video, we'll go through another example in which we're given reactants, we have to classify the reaction type, predict the products, and complete a balanced equation. Here, we're asked to complete, balance, and classify the reaction between aqueous potassium carbonate and aqueous aluminum nitrate. Potassium carbonate is an ionic compound, and aluminum nitrate is also an ionic compound. Knowing this, we can determine the most likely reaction type. In general, the reaction between two aqueous ionic compounds is a double replacement reaction. Sometimes this is called a double displacement reaction. These two terms mean the same thing. In order to find the formulas for the products of a double replacement reaction, we start by dissociating or breaking up the ionic reactants into individual ions. The charges can be found on a table of ions. K2CO3 breaks up into K plus and CO3 2 minus. And AlNO3 3 breaks up into Al3 plus and NO3 minus. The four ions will rearrange to form new products. One of the products will be formed from the combination of the two ions in the inside of these four. In this case, the positive aluminum ion and the negative carbonate ion. Since Al has a charge of 3 plus and carbonate has a charge of 2 minus, the correct formula for the compound formed from these two is Al2CO3-3, which we'll write up here as one of the products. The other compound will form when the two outer ions on the list combine. The compound formed by K plus and NO3 minus is simply KNO3, which we write here as the other product. Notice that we use the ion charges alone to determine the correct formulas for the new products. Now we need to determine what to write for the phases of the new products. We need to know whether each of these compounds is soluble in water or has low solubility. If a compound is soluble, it will have the subscript AQ for aqueous. If it has low solubility, it will have the subscript S for solid. We'll start with the aluminum carbonate. It is a handy thing to know that carbonate compounds, with the exception of alkali metal carbonates and ammonium carbonate, generally have low solubility in water. For this reason, we'll write the subscript S to indicate that the product aluminum carbonate will appear as a solid. When a new solid compound forms when two solutions are mixed, it will make the mixture cloudy or chunky. The new solid aluminum carbonate is called a precipitate. And this variety of double replacement reaction is called the precipitation reaction. Now we need to check the solubility of the other product, potassium nitrate, to see if we write aqueous or solid. It is a good thing to know that all alkali metal compounds are water soluble, and also all nitrate compounds are water soluble. The fact that K is an alkali metal, and the fact that this is a nitrate compound, both tell us that KNO3 is soluble. Therefore, we write the subscript AQ to indicate that KNO3 is dissolved or aqueous. In actuality, the K plus and the NO3 minus ions move independently in the solution and are not attracted to each other. Our last step is to balance this equation. When balancing, it's usually best to start with the compound with the most complex formula which in this case is the aluminum carbonate. We have two Al's on the right and one Al on the left. So we write a coefficient two here and now we have two aluminums on both sides. Going back to the aluminum carbonate, we now look at the carbonates. We have three carbonates on the right and one on the left. So by writing the coefficient three here, we now have three carbonates on both sides. Looking at K atoms, we have 2 times 3 equals 6 K atoms on the left. We also have 3 times 2 equals 6 nitrates on the left. So we can balance the Ks and the nitrates by writing a 6 here in front of the KNO3. The 6 here in front of the KNO3 indicates there are 6 Ks and 6 NO3s on the right side. So Ks and NO3s are now balanced. At this point, it would be good to pause the video and double check and see if the equation is balanced. You will see that it is correctly balanced. So now we have completed, balanced, and classified this double replacement reaction.